Yeah, so my name's Marcel Lebrun. I'm the founder of 12 Neighbors. I'm a tech entrepreneur by background, but uh, now I'm a social impact entrepreneur. So focused on initiatives that can uh, really make a difference in our city. And here we're working to help people uh, overcome barriers from homelessness and all the other kind of co-occurring barriers that come with it. Yeah, so I did a lot of research to ask the question, how do you sustainably reduce poverty and homelessness? Not just kind of meeting the flywheel of needs that always grows and grows, but how do you actually do it in a way that when you come back, you know, people can move ahead and become independent. And so I visited like 30 cities, looked at what was working and you know, in the end, came up with a fairly simple formula, which is you got to start with housing. So here we're building 99 tiny homes to uh, house people, but also we say housing is just the beginning. So it's not just housing, but it's housing plus investment in personal development, and then ultimately employment, so that people can move as far along as they can on their path to independence. We're excited to be recognized by Kubota Canada. I think it, it's a reflection of um, the fact that this, this idea makes sense. We as a community want to see us do better at uh, taking care of our most vulnerable citizens. We're, we're seeing a lot of support across the country. There's a ton of amazing success stories when you get to know people and uh, see what they've been able to overcome. It's quite incredible. You know, one of the things that we've always focused on from the beginning is we want this to feel like something we are doing as a community, not something that a, a small group of people are doing, but that we and the citizens of the city all feel like we're contributing to this. And this is why this building that we're in here is this intersection point that we're creating. We're standing right now in what will be Neighborly Coffee, our cafe, where we want people in the city to come and interact with community members who are working on getting their feet under them and really make it a citywide, you know, investment. Yeah. My first tractor was about a 10-year-old BX1500 that I bought with a front blower on it when I lived in a in a a subdivision and I was just tired of I had two driveways so tired of fighting the snow banks with the snow blower and I saw one for sale and I said well that's a bit crazy but off I go and it probably the best purchase I've ever made I actually still have it uh, it I don't know it's maybe 25 or 30 years old now and uh, then of course I moved to a place where now I have like a thousand foot driveway so now I have a L4060 which you know to do that and uh, but that was my doorway into the tractor world where I started to realize you can actually solve almost anything with the tractor so uh, yeah I think I have six now so uh, for us uh, we have a little one here we use for our sidewalks and you know that kind of thing but um, yeah, the, um, there's always a, another wish list. <laughs> one of the number one questions people generally have when they see a need, they say, well, I want to help, but how? So we don't actually solve everyone's problems here. We believe in their ability to build the capacity in their lives. And so uh, that's my number one advice is as you go around and think, what can I get involved in? Get involved in things that build people's capacity up as opposed to things which just kind of enable, you know, maybe meet a short-term need but don't really help people rise up. If you go to our website, you'll see we have there called the 12 Neighbors Development Fund and we invite people to consider even like a small monthly donation. What we do with the development fund is it goes directly to community members to help them move forward in their goals. A lot of times our support, our safety nets only help you when you showcase your weaknesses and then when you start to display success or strengths all those supports pull back. And what we're doing is the opposite. We're investing behind success. The funds are used to pay people wages as they do work, work on themselves and work on one of our social enterprises. So that's a great way to get involved and help us is to come on the website and support the development fund.